Hello, dear students. Let's continue to uh, design our fuselage of the airplane. Uh, today we will make uh, the uh, rounded edges for our fuselage, and we will make made this fuselage to looks uh, very close to the original. So let's try to do it. Uh, at the first step, I will uh, hide the lawyer with the airplane, uh, and now uh, I will select all this, uh, all this, all my previous constructions, and move them to the trash lawyer. So I not delete this, all this, uh, all my constructive lines maybe i will use them in future i don't know now you never know what will what you will need in future so never delete your basic lines this uh, splines so just move them uh, to the additional lawyer call the call this lawyer something like trash and uh, just hide it so it will be uh, not visible during your work and uh, uh, you will feel comfor comfortable to uh, design uh, but anytime if you will need something from your previous uh, from your previous graphic so you will always be able to use it okay uh, let's let's continue so we need we will start uh, from the nose of the fuselage we need uh, to make it more uh, with some radius it's, it must be not so sharp as in our model so uh, let's start uh, the first select x1 lawyer go to curve menu and select offset offset curve on surface and now i will select this uh, edge this edge uh, there are two polysurface edges one from the side surface and the polysurface and uh, the second or sorry first is from the top polysurface and second from the side polysurface i will select from the top polysurface uh, input uh, offset distance. Uh, I think uh, it must be about uh, 30 millimeters or something like this, or maybe 25 millimeters. Okay. We got now uh, the, the spline, the curve uh, placed on this uh, upper surface. Uh, as we explode, if we explode this uh, two halves into surfaces, into separate surfaces. Now on this surface we got the spline. And uh, let's repeat, let's repeat, select from here, from this menu, offset curve on surface and select this edge again ah, and now at the, at the, this time we will select uh, this uh, surface edge look at the arrows so we select the side the surface okay and uh, the same offset distance the same offset distance 25 millimeters now we got this curve okay uh, but we must a uh, cut we must cut a little bit this curve it must end uh, this at the same point as this one so let's uh, draw a polyline here uh, hold the shift and move horizontal now select uh, extrude straight enter 
and uh, if we switch to the right view we can see that if we extrude vertical surface switch to polyline switch to perspective again and now uh, trim select trim select this surface enter and trim this part of this curve Again, try again. Extrusion, enter this one. Delete. Now I think it's okay. Now we can delete this surface and this line. And uh, also we can build. Ah, no, it's early, it's too early, too early to build the radius. Okay, uh, here, some artifact unnecessary, we delete it. Now we must, uh, we must make, made a little uh, improvements into the shape of the surfaces, uh, of these curves. So uh, if we uh, we must uh, put the, this end of this curve uh, to this into this point into this point, but if we will uh, switch uh, show on object uh, control points, you can see that there are too many control points and it is hard to work with this poly surface in this configuration so let's rebuild this poly surface rebuild rebuild it and uh, from 127 points we will decrease to uh, for example um, something about 51 and maximum deviation uh, 0 0.3 I think it will be not too bad maybe um, maybe even no 31 okay let it be 51 okay and now if we switch on this control points it will be not too much points we must uh, move this control point to this i think yes it's good uh, switch to the right view switch to the right view and now uh, I will edit this I'll delete this control points <coughs> I will try to align it with this uh, contour so I will make something like this I think it will be good enough okay okay and now I I must uh, as you can see this line now inside the inside the fuselage but i need this curve to be on the side of the side wall so uh, what i will do uh, now i will project i will project this uh, curve to this side wall i will select i will switch to the right view and now i will select project curves selecting this curve enter and now i must select 
the side wall surface but I don't know which one is so uh, I think I will select by this cross section uh, cross section tool I will select with both of them pressing enter and now on perspective view you can see uh, there are two projection curves mm -hmm. this one we don't need anymore and uh, now we also must delete the surf uh, the source curve inside the fuselage this is this is it delete it <coughs> okay and the same thing I will do with this top curve top view curve I need uh, to modify it in the front of this uh, fuselage so uh, I will rebuild it also rebuild from this amount of points into 51 or maybe even 41 okay let's left 51 is for the previous one okay so now much better I will delete this one and I will move this control point somewhere here somewhere here where the straight uh, part of the of this upper surface begins I will draw polyline from this point holding the shift and horizontal horizontal polyline and this control point must lay somewhere must be somewhere on this poly on this line uh, switch to this mode to see the polyline I think it will be good enough deleting this additional uh, line and now uh, uh, now I must projecting I think I must projecting this curve into this surface or oh, it must uh, it must uh, be um, this curve must be uh, must lay on this surface so uh, first I will uh, I will check uh, I will input intersection sorry intersect intersect tool I will select curve and select surface the surface and press and enter and as you can see uh, it shows that the so that this curve is not uh, touch it not touches the surface continuously but it has uh, some uh, breaking points so delete delete this result so we must also project this curve into this surface as it was before with this one so now we can we must switch to the top view select select this uh, I recommend you to use uh, additional lawyer with different color because uh, it will be uh, it will be hard to to select uh, the result curve so switch to the x2 to x2 lawyer change the color for example to dark green and now uh, select project curve select this curve enter and select this surface and press and enter so now uh, the curve we need it's uh, the green one 
and the red one we can delete. Okay, uh, now I can move this from green to x1 to red nowhere. And uh, the last thing that we must doing with this uh, segment, with this uh, part of the fuselage, is to build uh, the cross sections, the cross sections of the future fillet, of the future fillet. Uh, why I'm doing uh, so hard this uh, this step? Because we uh, there are uh, fillet tool. Uh, there are present uh, fillet tool in the rhinoceros, but the result will be uh, not satisfied for us. As I will select this one and I input uh, 25 millimeters and select this surface and this surface. Uh, as you can see here, it's uh, maybe very close to our result, but in this place, as you can see, it uh, decreases to the point, runs to the point, but as we look to the photographs, we can see that there is a uh, uh, different shape, different shape. So we must made this uh, these hard steps. So uh, undo, undo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So now we need the cross section, the arc cross section for this place. So I will change to X1 lawyer and I'm selecting the arc starting from here and here and to this point. Switch to the wireframe mode, selecting the arc and check, check this point. Okay. Okay, so now, uh, Now I will make, I should make another one. Let me think. Another one arc. Let's build another one arc. This time from here to here to the end of the to the end of the red line, red red spline, and uh, and the point. Ah, okay. No. I will go the other way. I will uh, select curve, curve from objects, and uh, duplicate edge, duplicate edge, and select this uh, one of these two surface edges. Press and enter. Now I will hide. I will hide uh, the fuselage layer. The or. Uh, total lawyer RQ2 or the fuselage lawyer, it doesn't matter. Now, uh, trim, use this one and trim this part. Delete this. Okay, and now, uh, now we can use another one time, uh, use sweep to rails tool. So selecting one curve, another one, selecting this arc and this arc, and pressing enter. And let's see what we got now. 
uh, switch on user ledge. Uh, we need uh, uh, we must cut out now the um, Uh, we must cut out now these uh, parts of these surfaces um, between the uh, between the these two uh, polylines between these two splines. So uh, let's switch to wireframe. Select this one and uh, move it to x2 lawyer and hide and now uh, select uh, polyline and uh, draw the polyline from here to here and now select trim select this poly surface uh, you know what I'm seeing that uh, I will modify a little bit I will modify maybe a little bit this curve uh, let's look at the side view photos side view photographs uh, of this airplane I think there must be a bigger right radius. So let's select. Let's rebuild again. Rebuild again this poly surface, uh, poly line. Sorry, but this spline uh, two fifty one. Okay. Uh, yes. And now let's move this one, delete, delete this additional points and move them somewhere here. It must be something like this. Must be something like this, I think. Okay, curve something like this. It must be closer to the real. Uh, I will delete this one uh, and I will use this lawyer to project this curve and to the sides again deleting this one move this one into the red lawyer x1 lawyer uh, check if this arc and this curve intersects intersect this one and this one ah sorry the source I must delete source curve and now intersection, yes, they are intersects. Okay, uh, so now, now I will, uh, I will add another one, I think, no, I think it will be, no. Okay, I will uh, trim, trim using this curve and this line, 
and uh, and I trim this part of the side the wall of the fuselage and also I will trim using this curve trim this part and now uh, now select uh, sweep to rails one, this one this one now uh, cross sections this one and this one and enter okay I think it looks not bad if we join now this one with this one quite good okay for the top surface I think it the result is not bad okay looks where it looks with the photograph uh, let's make this let's make the same thing now repeat this uh, these steps for the for this edge for the edge of the uh, bottom of the fuselage uh, I think we must use switch to x1 lawyer uh, curve uh, offset 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 curve on surface select this one 25 millimeters okay and uh, now we must edit this curve rebuild to 51 points or maybe a little more than 51 I think maximum deviation for this uh, dimensions of our model must be should be uh, less than one millimeter uh, if uh, after a building the sir uh, of the after a building of the spline so uh, 71 point will be good value uh, okay now switch to the top and to the wireframe mode and move holding the shift move this point somewhere close to this now switch again to the uh, uh, switch again no switch again to the top view draw the horizontal line from here to here uh, and now move this control point somewhere here okay I think it will be good for the the bottom surface and now uh, select x2 lawyer and project this poly surface to this or oh, this poly this uh, spline onto the bottom surface delete that one and uh, and move this uh, this to x1 and now we need uh, the side on the side wall uh, the same curve so curve offset offset uh, curve on surface select this uh, second one when the arrows shows us upward to the surface of the side wall 
25 millimeters also deleting this unnecessary artifact uh, now switch to the red lawyer to the to the x1 lawyer uh, rebuild rebuild this one to 71 okay switch to the right point of view move uh, this point here oh, okay let's let's look from the perspective view we must move this point to the point okay let's switch off the fuser legend now move this point here it, it should be easier uh, switch to the right view uh, i think if it will be something like this it will be good we don't need much corrections here and now switch to x2 lawyer and select project project curves and select both surfaces oh, where is my curve now no it doesn't work i don't know why let's try another one time select enter and select this oh yes now it works we don't need this one we don't need red one and switch this one into red lawyer okay now uh now uh curve duplicate edge this one okay and we must oh, okay hide hide the lawyer with the model with the surfaces select trim select this one enter and cut out this uh, delete this one we don't need it and move this to the to the x1 lawyer and also we need uh, we need the arc here at the end so let's let's build it this one to the x1 lawyer from this point to this point and here and now check <coughs> move this control point to the corner corner okay uh, and also I think okay let's try let's try to build as it is uh, trim trim with this curve the side of the fuselage and with this curve trim the bottom of the fuselage and now let's build let's build surface sweep to rails select one curve second curve this arc and this arc okay okay it works and now join this one and this one okay looks close 
to the thing that we want. Okay. <clears throat> and the last place where we must, where we should uh, go, uh, where we should make the rounded edge, it's the top of the fuselage. Uh, let's repeat the same steps, uh, but this time I think it will be. Let's measure this distance 30 millimeters. Okay, okay, 30 millimeters. Um, but I think at the real airplane. There must be a <coughs> little, little, this radi radius must be uh, smaller than the radius of the, uh, of the edges between the, between the surfaces and the whole fuselage. So we must make, uh, made the uh, fill it. Okay, let's try to use now uh, at this at this time. Let's uh, use fillet surface, uh, and the radius. No, not this one. We will use variable radius surface fillet. This one. We. Uh, we must select this surface and this surface and the radiuses uh, click with the mouse on this at this point uh, select new fillet radius so let it be 25 millimeters and at this point second radius about 10 millimeters I think will be enough so let's try I'm not sure that it will work but let's try mm -hmm. No, I don't think that it will be good result, but but we will use we will use uh, this ed the edges of this uh, shape of this surface that we achieve. Uh, we will use the edges. Uh, we will we will select curve from duplicate edge. This one, and this one. Okay, and we will delete this surface. And uh, now, now we will uh, draw the line from this point somewhere here and use this line for trim. Trim this. Okay, delete this line. Now uh, we must move this the end point of this curve to this point. But this I think we must rebuild it first. Rebuild uh, seventy one. No, we will use only twenty one point. And this time switch to the right view and something like this, I think. Okay. Uh, another one time we must project now or maybe check check let's check intersection intersection 
between this curve and this side wall. No, it doesn't intersect continuously, so we must project. Project this curve to this surface. Okay, this one we don't need anymore. And the red one we deleting. And the green one we uh, moving into the red lawyer into x1 lawyer and uh, the same thing we must do with this curve i think uh, this time the distance between these two points is not very big so and we delete this Uh, from top view, let's check. Ah, I think this one is also already deleted. Okay, enough. And project, project this one onto these surfaces. Delete red one. This one also not necessary for us. And now uh, we have the arc red red arc here, and we must build. Uh, we can we should we should move this curve into the red lawyer to x one lawyer, and uh, here we must build the arc another one arc switch to x1 lawyer another one arc here with the control point in the co at the corner corner and uh, hide now hide the fuselage and let's build delete this one and uh, let's build uh, sweep to rails or oh, from this one this rail this rail and this two arcs okay we got the radius uh, we move this radius into green lawyer hide it select select the fuselage lawyer not select but uh, turn on the fuselage lawyer and trim these parts of these surfaces trim this one now and hide this and join this with this okay looks looks nice i think so let's join all the surfaces of this half of the fuselage side and bottom now uh, you can see the difference between this source uh, this uh, source half and this result half uh, we can hide this red lines so now we can delete this source half of the fuselage, select this one, select mirror tool, mirror command, and mirror it. And now if we switch to shade, uh, this one shade mode, we can analyze our result compare it with the photographs I think it looks looks not bad maybe only on the photograph uh, the nose part is a bit sharper not so rounded so uh, 
the thinner, thinner, sharper, thinner. So we have a uh, large, larger radius, or uh, maybe not. From this point of view, looks looks very very close. I think the only thing is left to do it's uh, this place, as you can see. In our case, it's straight line. And on the real airplane, there are some radius, some radius at this place, here. Let's try to, uh, to make the same thing in our, on our model. So, uh, let's draw the arc. Uh, let's switch on. Red, uh, red lawyer uh, select the arc this one this time from this point to this point and somewhere here I think maybe looks close and uh, also what I should do, um, it's what I will do next. I will uh, you, I will select curve, uh, curve from objects. Uh, no, not this way. I will unhide trash lawyer. Select this uh, this source source uh, cross section this uh, side view contour of the fuselage that we built on previous lessons uh, select it and uh, press and control C uh, and control V and now I change I, uh, I change the lawyer uh, to the green, and if uh, if I will switch off the trash that trash lawyer, and I will hide the fuselage lawyer, uh, I can see that uh, I have the copy of this uh, side view contour. I will explode it and delete all lines that I don't need. Uh, this, this, and this. Okay. So I left only this uh, segments, and now I move. I'm selecting move, moving to this one and move this arc forward here uh, to the intersection of this uh, arc and this uh, line. And now I extend this line to the end of this arc. I'm select to switch on control points and move this control point here. Now join again this polyline, delete this one, uh, and uh, now, now I am uh, selecting this, uh, this curve and mirror it, mirror this curve, uh, selecting point somewhere on this uh, polyline and uh, holding the shift and mirror make the copy with the mirror mirroring this uh, this uh, curve okay so now uh, what i should do now now i'm selecting uh, polyline and drawing the line from this end to this end and now and uh, the other one i will select 
the endpoint. I will select again polyline and uh, select this endpoint and uh, holding the shift and drawing horizontal line. You can see. Now selecting this line, selecting move, move it here. Now selecting trim by this and this and trim this ends of this line. Okay, let's look again at this top of this uh, fuselage. Uh, okay, I think. Okay, let's also draw. Uh, let's copy this line from this point to. So I will switch off center to this end, to this end, to the end of the horizontal uh, of the straight line, to the end, and also uh, trim this one this one trim this ends of the line so now uh, i will use i will use uh, another one tool from the surface tools uh, surface this one surface from a network of curves so selecting this and select this, 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 this one, and this one, and this one, and that one. And press and enter. Okay. So I got now uh, this complicated surface. This surface uh, that looks much closer to the real airplane now unhiding fuselage now i move i'm select this surface and move it into the green lawyer hide green lawyer and now i explode explode this all this two fusel fuselage halves and delete this upper surface uh, also i'm select trim select this arc and cut out this parts of upper surface okay and now uh, select unhide this uh, green lawyer this x2 lawyer and uh, join Uh, you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing uh, undo, 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 no, redo. Okay, at this at this stage, I will uh, I will uh, I will change this to these two surfaces into one surface i will select this uh, red this red curve mirror it mirror uh, select this point hold the shift and now uh, draw uh, the line from this end point to this end point and now uh, select again uh, sweep sweep to rails this one this one and this uh, uh, this line okay as you can see we got one surface instead of this two that we can delete now uh -huh. It's not the surface, it's poly surface. Uh, no, I don't like this result. I will delete this result. Why? Why it 
draws me. Okay, so uh, so I will go the other way. Undo. I will select sweep one rail, select this edge of these two surfaces and select this red curve. Mm -hmm. Now that's also ah, okay. Let's do this way. Uh, hide fuselage, explode, uh, merge. Merge surfaces, round is zero, and this one with this one, and this one with this one. And now, uh, unhide fuselage, select trim tool. Uh -huh. No. Sorry. Sometimes it's hard to get the necessary results. Uh, I also want to tell you that if I will try to merge these two surfaces, it will doesn't work because uh, merge surfaces works only with untrimmed surfaces. But uh, as you remember, we are uh, already trimmed the edges of the surfaces, so uh, we cannot merge these two surfaces into one. Uh, what I want to do is uh, to enlarge this line, to extend this line a little bit, for example, twice. Move from the midpoint, select the midpoint, move it here, okay, and now. Uh, one rail, this one, so, oh, sorry, this one, this one, enter, okay, hide fuselage, explode, uh, merge, this one and this one, and again, merge, this one and this one, and now, uh, Unhide fuselage, select thing. Uh, uh -huh, okay, hide the fuselage, <laughs> select trim this one, this curve, and this curve, and trim these sides. So I got uh, one surface, and also another one trim by this curve and cut out this okay so now i can unhide fuselage select this half and this half and i got the single surface the same thing you can do with uh, with the floor of the fuselage uh, okay so uh, unhide green lawyer and now join this one, this one, uh -huh. this one, this, 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 and this. Sides, this, and this. Okay. And uh, I will do it also with this. I will change uh, these two halves to the single surface as for the top surface I did before. So I will draw here, somewhere here at the end, a, la a long, lo large, a, a, a long, long uh, line, move it from the midpoint here. And now uh, select one rail, select this edge and select this line, enter. Now uh, explode, merge, 
this and this, this and this, this and this. And now uh, select this curve, mirror. mirror from this point holding the ship and now trim with this curve and this curve and trim these parts now i can select this black surface delete and join the fuselage with this bottom bottom part uh, what it is ah. it was sorry undo 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 it was a little part of the surface that we are not include okay curve so uh, merge where it is here and this is a little little surface okay so now it's single surface uh, now again trim by this curve this curve okay okay delete this one delete this one now join this and this okay so now we can hide uh, hide fuselage select all these curves and move them uh, into trash lawyer we don't need them anymore and we got the fuselage now we got the fuselage and you can compare it with the photographs with the photographs okay so looks very close to original I think mm -hmm. I think maybe it's a bit wider, bit wider. I, or maybe not. I don't have uh, the dimensions, so look, maybe maybe the top of the fuselage looks a bit a little bit wider, but I think it it's also good enough. Uh, okay, now we can unhide wing, tail beam, stabilizer, and fin. Uh, also, we can uh, split the wing, select the wing, and uh, press enter, and select the fuselage. And press enter and now switch to wireframe mode and delete this this part of the wing switch again to shape mode okay I think it looks uh, ah okay now uh, select all these parts select mirror uh, and select the point somewhere midpoint you should uh, switch on midpoint of uh, object snap holding the shift and okay let's compare our result
with this photograph. I think looks not bad. Okay, so uh, that's it for today's lessons. I think it's enough. Uh, on the next lesson, we will make make uh, the control surfaces, the ailerons, uh, the elevators, and the rudders. Uh, and you must and you must uh, learn the previous lesson and this one and uh, repeat all the steps that I did on these lessons and draw the fuselage so your models uh, should be the same as my one because uh, on the next lesson we will make next steps we will draw the control surfaces and maybe on the next lessons we will make the landing gear. So the engine. So uh, I hope uh, that you will be able to repeat all the steps that I showed you on these lessons. Okay. Uh, thank you. See you next time.